Hi everybody, I just wanted to share a quick video. A customer was asking us to improve the frame rate on the Nikola Vision and I'm getting back in the seat for uh, programming stuff on OpenMV. So hopefully uh, new drivers and features will start coming out of a regular clip again. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I was able to update uh, the driver and add the readout mode to the sensor. So now you can kind of move the, uh, the image around and kind of get a faster FPS. Uh, doing this, I was able to kind of push the sensor to be able to do, uh, you know, 40 FPS or so. And then um, this can be done uh, in any kind of imaging mode. So RGB 565, Bayer, YUV, or Grayscale. Um, anyway, but the customer wanted actually 60 FPS. So to go faster, I realized you can actually overclock the sensor. Um, and so this allows you to kind of push it up to actually 80 FPS. So if you type 8C, 8B in here, this is going to push the internal PLL of the sensor up uh, pretty hard. And as you can see, it's able to hit now about 80 FPS bouncing the image around. Um, so we're adjusting the readout window kind of dynamically here. And as you can see, moving it around. Uh, so if you wanted to like track an object per se uh, in the image with the uh, Nikola Vision, this would allow you to do so. Uh, note though that, you know, you can see the image is starting to get corrupted now uh, when we're doing this. So we got corruption on the left, left side of the image out on the top. Uh, so you just wanna, wanna crop those out uh, and you can do that in the OpenMV cam. And so once we've done that, um, the image looks pretty good. And then finally, since it's a Bayer image, you're gonna to wanna to manually convert that to grayscale. Oops. Uh, yeah, we are kind of pushing the sensor though here, so might be careful on uh, it. Sometimes the reset won't work, but uh, otherwise, yeah, uh, it is possible to hit about 80 FPS with a pretty small resolution and uh, sliding the readout window on the Nikola Vision. Uh, hopefully this could be useful to some folks. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.